Welcome everybody to another Voice of Nick live stream. We're going to be playing more Yakuza Kiwami 2 today. And uh, let's see if we can, I'm going to grab my controller here, let's see if we can get this thing going. If, that's me dropping it. If you don't know the channel, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story focused games on here and I don't talk over story or cutscene moments, but these are what we call ultra blind playthroughs. So I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of the game or suggest what to do in the game, uh, whether or not they've played it before. If you want to see more of what happens on the channel, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You will get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going right now, including Yakuza Kiwami 2. And if you like what you see today, don't forget to hit that follow button. Up top, you see that follower goal there. The 30th entry of the Twitch playbook is out right now. That one's called Surviving Your First 10 Streams, and it's going to help you to get through what will probably be the toughest streams you ever do in your Twitch streaming career, the first 10 official live streams that you attempt to do. Now, if you don't know the Twitch playbook, it is a free podcast I created to help all of you guys in this community either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already have one. You can find it on iTunes, on Spotify, on all the major podcast platforms by searching for the Twitch playbook or you can type exclamation mark playbook into the chat, you'll get a link directly to it. The last order of business, the YouTube channel has its first ever exclusive gameplay series on there. Rampa. you'll not find on the Twitch channel in any way, shape, or form. You'll only find that gameplay series, from me at least, on the YouTube channel. So make sure you check that out, exclamation mark YouTube in the chat. It's a brand new thing for me. The first episode posted on Sunday. The next episode is coming out today, uh, so keep an eye out for that stuff. There's a whole bunch of those things in the chamber <laughs> that are... Uh, Raring to go. I'll say that that game is a heck of a lot of fun. That's a, a crazy game. Now, um, welcome everybody into the stream. Let's do some Yakuza. Hey, whoa, we got a whole bunch of people in here. Bob the Canadian guy, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. Oh, I hope that you guys uh, enjoyed the nice elevator music while you, uh, while you hung out. Chuckster, thank you for the host. Bob the Canadian guy, thank you so much for that raid. And welcome in, guys. Can we get a shout out in here for Bob the Canadian guy? What were you playing today? Bob the Canadian guy was just chatting. Good stuff. What were you uh, chatting about? Were you doing any games as well? Or were you doing any other stuff? What was your stream, Bob the Canadian guy? How did it go? I would love to hear everything. We have the RS Duo in here. We have Bob the Canadian guy in here. We have Sokoy in here. We have Nurse, Nurse Ash 92 in here. Welcome, guys, into the stream. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for coming in with that rate. It's very highly appreciated. We have Space Dust in here as well. Can Mooney, welcome, guys, into the show. Uh, Nurse Ash saying, Bob went to bed a few minutes ago, all sorts of stuff. Good stuff. Well, I hope that it was a very good stream. Yeah, I guess it looks like, based on the timestamps, it looks like you guys might have rated almost the instant that we went live. Yeah, and we, we have like a 15 to 20 minute intro screen, so I, I, uh, sorry if uh, some of you guys got bored or, or sleepy uh, after that, but I, I hope it was an amazing stream, and uh, I hope that you, whoever is sticking around, is ready for some Japanese street fighting, because... That's what we're gonna do. Either Japanese street fighting, playing a crane machine at an arcade, or uh, managing a cabaret club. Those are the three things that we mainly do in Yakuza. <laughs> or eating ramen. That's the fourth thing that we do in this game. Welcome everybody into the stream though. Um, we also have a couple of new followers here. Uh, Sokoi has followed. Welcome Sokoi into the Meatball Marauders. Can we get a hype in that chat? And don't forget to wave at your computer screens, ladies and gents, for Sokoi joining the fold. Sokoi, take these 20 meatballs that you get for following. Use it to buy yourself your very own Japanese crane machine. And uh, you'll own all the toys already because you'll be the one who stocks the machine. But you'll get really good at grabbing the items. And then when you go to a regular Japanese arcade, you're going to clean up. You're going to get all the items. So it's a good practice for that. Enjoy your Japanese crane machine and enjoy your stay in the Meatball Marauders. You can uh, type exclamation mark meatballs in the chat if you want to check your channel currency of meatballs, as well as your channel ranking, which is based on how many meatballs you have. You'll see that in the brackets there. You can also type exclamation mark games, as I mentioned earlier, to see that full list of games you'll be seeing in the coming days and weeks on the channel. Welcome in. And uh, we also have deep, deep, deep. Nurse Ash has followed as well. Thank you to Nurse Ash. Let's get some more hype in that chat. We have two new followers here, ladies and gents. Welcome, Nurse Ash, into the Meatball Marauders as well. Once again, guys, don't forget to wave at the computer screen. It's very important. Nurse Ash, take these 20 meatballs. Use it to buy yourself your very own cabaret club. And uh, you can manage it. You can throw it in the garbage. You can demolish it if you want. I would recommend managing it because it's a lot of fun. Uh, enjoy your uh, cabaret club and enjoy your stay in the Meatball Marauders. You as well can type exclamation mark meatballs if you want to check your channel currency of meatballs as well as your channel ranking, which is based on how many meatballs you have. You'll see that in the brackets. And, of course, as you uh, heard as well, you can uh, 
type exclamation mark games in the chat if you want to check that games list. Welcome in. Space Dust getting that cringe hype. Good stuff. Is it cringe for my uh, abilities, my lack of abilities to, uh, to play the crane machines, I'm guessing. Uh, Nurse Ash saying, I always wanted a cabaret club. I can quit my night job. There you go. Perfect. Perfectly uh, orchestrated there. It's like we planned it out. The two of us planned that out together. Uh, guys, let's... Uh, Let's Yakuza, I guess. Oh, but first, there is one more thing because we have hit, if you look at the top right of your screen, you can see that we actually hit our follower goal, ladies and gents. That's amazing. Can we get some hype, more hype in the chat for that? We hit our follower goal, guys, and that means we have to go fish out that Hogwarts band. Where are they? Are they over there? No. Nope. Hogwarts band? No, they're not up there. Hogwarts band, there you are. Hit it. <laughs> Amazing stuff, guys. Another follower goal reached. That's pretty. That's like record time almost, I feel like. Uh, thank you to everybody who's contributed to that goal. And let's get a Voice of Nick voice in here. Random wiki. We have dee 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 dee. Cliff Climber Redondo. Cliff Climber Redondo is a man who's always climbing a cliff. This is a very conspicuously stock photo. <laughs> almost all of the Voice of Nick wiki photos are stock photos with the watermark still on them. But that one is very much a stock photo. <laughs> Um, this guy's uh, catchphrase is get busy climbing or get busy diming. Oh, and he describes it as diming for the uninitiated is when you slip on a dime and then die. You die because you can't climb anymore, maybe. Just don't read too far into the catchphrase. That's his actual, <laughs> that's the actual description of his catchphrase. Okay, well, here we go. I'm Cliff Climber Redondo. I've been climbing the same cliff every single day for the last 30 years. And you know what I just realized? This thing is actually a sphere. It's a sphere, so I'm gonna keep climbing forever. I'll never get to the top of this cliff. I'm just still climbing. And you know what else I realized? That I'm horizontal on the ground and I'm grabbing onto grass and the sphere is the earth. I've been climbing the earth itself for 30 straight years. I've, I've circled around it three times already and I just never realized. I saw people walking past. I thought they had gravity boots or something, that they was walking along the side of the cliff. But I'm still do I, it's not gonna let me, I'm not gonna give up on it. At one point, some, some point, I will find the end of the earth and then I'll be at the top of this cliff. It's the greatest cliff I ever done climbed. Let's see if I can get there. He's like a, a Brooklyn cliff climber, I guess. I don't know, I guess he's from Brooklyn. Um, that's Cliff Climber Redondo. Get busy climbing or get busy diming. I like that uh, <laughs> that catchphrase. Good stuff, guys. Thank you to everybody who contributed to that follower goal. It is so highly appreciated. Um, welcome in to everybody from the raid and from uh, uh, from coming over from uh, uh, Bob the Canadian Guy's channel. Can we get another shout out in here, by the way? Uh, exclamation mark S O Bob the Canadian Guy, because uh, we definitely want to show that love over there. We're starting off the show in such a big way. And uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna, before we jump in, the last thing to do is the ceremonial resetting of the follower goal. So we're gonna reset this baby uh, before we jump into the show so that it is not uh, sitting there as a full a full goal there. Let's see what we got. We wanna do Yeah. That is a 10 follower goal right now. So the next person to follow will actually uh, break ground tink, on that follower goal. Thank you to everybody who contributed to the last one. Uh, and let's jump into Yakuza, ladies and gents. Space is getting that earth emote. There you go. That's what he's been climbing this whole time. He didn't even realize he was sideways. That's true dedication. I, I, uh, I can only aspire, I can only hope to one day reach that level of dedication. Oh, let me get that uh, shout out once again to Bob the Canadian guy. Thank you to Bob the Canadian guy, who is, uh, I guess has gone to bed. So let's get an exclamation mark night for Bob the Canadian guy. Uh, Nurse Ash was saying that he went to bed. May all your yees be hawed until tomorrow. That's a nice one, I like that. Dr. Helmlich, welcome into the stream as well. Just missed him? Yeah, I, uh, I guess he, he went to bed during the, uh, the intro sequence, but He's, he is still here in our hearts with all of us. 
Anybody who hasn't gone uh, and checked out Bob the Canadian Guy, make sure you do so, though. Thank you so much to Bob the Canadian Guy for uh, sharing your community with me. And let's uh, investigate some of the some of the old Kamurocho district. Zeus Kanata saying, do you ever sleep? Um, I, I don't understand the question. What What's that? <laughs> um, yeah, it's a... Uh, I, I try my best not to, I guess. Am I a robot? I don't, if I was a robot, would I be able to answer the question though? Or would I know? So I suppose I can't answer that. Also, I have uh, sprockets and uh, gears inside my body, but that's just because I shoved them inside of an open wound. So um, we're walking around in Camurocho. Oh, there's a net cafe, nice. Oh, I think I know this net cafe. Hold on, we're right next to the, uh, that main, hold on, we gotta walk back here really quick. Yeah, okay, that's not where the net cafe I've seen is. This is the net cafe I know. Is, this is like a famous area in Kabukicho, Shinjuku, which is the place where both times I've been to Tokyo, I stayed in this area. It's like the really super busy area of Tokyo. And uh, there's a net cafe right here in this building where Volcano Volcanic is. It doesn't look like they have one here though. Yeah, they don't. I want my money back, Yakuza. Oh, look at this guy, Oka. What's he got there? He has a taser? Let's try and counter it. Oh god, that didn't work. <laughs> Try it, try it, try it, try it, try it, try it, try it. Got him. Defeat one nouveau riche enemy. Oh, we got 50,000 yen. Good stuff. That is pretty good, guys. Also, I love his gold outfit. It's not yellow. It's actually like shiny gold outfit. Um, nursing, so these areas are familiar to you IRL? Yeah, I was really impressed by like how accurate they got it. The first time I went um, to Tokyo was I had just started playing Yakuza 1 um, because I was like, oh, let me, you know, record a bunch of episodes of this and then they could like get scheduled on the Facebook page for like while I'm gone. So there was something going up and like I played like 20 episodes worth of Yakuza and I went straight to the area that it literally took place in. I didn't even know it was going to take place there. And I was like, oh, crap, I'm walking right into this game. Um, and then, yeah, the second time I was able to, like, take photos for the Instagram and stuff of, like, oh, this is the exact place that we've been to. <laughs> yeah, nurse saying that isn't a flattering position, Mr. Gold. You know, I don't think he's in any position to, uh, to complain. He may or may not be deceased. We're not entirely sure, but we probably shouldn't ask too many questions about it either because the police are going to come sniffing by soon. Oh, so we still want to do more restaurants. That's one thing that we didn't do yet. And then this is toilets, this is darts. Okay, they kind of have everything there. This is one guy, what are you doing? Oi. You there, wait up a sec. Cool. What do you want? You one of them, right? I can tell. Actually, I got a job for you. It's pretty straightforward, so this should be a cinch. Oh, okay. Well, this is certainly fishy. Should I see where this goes? Can't say I'm not interested. Uh. All right, let's hear it. Actually, we shouldn't have this conversation in public. You got a cell, man? Yeah. Great, give me your email. I'll shoot you the deets in the mail. This is where we go our separate ways. Keep an eye on your inbox, though. <laughs> All right. That's the mission, I guess. Oh wow, look at this big smile burger, cool. <laughs> They're saying so sketch. I know, that's like, and why do we actually give him our phone number too? Smiru menu. Smiru baga. Maguro baga, that's tuna. Teriyaki baga. Teriyaki sounds good. I don't know if I want a tuna burger though. 
Yeah, I don't know about that. King Baga. Oh man, look how much food is in that one. The meat, meat levels. There's just a lot of things stacked up in the in the King Burger. King Burger is the one in the center of the three. I can't read what the right one says. Something Baga. I can't see the kanji though. Well, we got four out of the five. That's good enough. Oh God, an email. Who's it from? From Masa, subject untitled. That's how you know it's sketchy. Oh my God. Thanks a ton for agreeing to this. You can call me Masa, by the way. Why is he using so many emotes? As for the job, I hit a key under the park bench in Public Park 3. Just snag it and scoot your butt on over to the coin lockers. Oh yeah, and the stuff in the locker is my little secret. Wink in face. I love that he uses those emotes. This guy's like a totally different person on email. I guess I'll just respond with an all right. <laughs> I like that Kirito, Kirito, I said Kirito. I love that Kiryu says like what he's gonna respond with, like as if we need to know that. And they're seeing that winky face though. And they're saying the burgers never look like they do on the poster. Yeah, that's true. Game Air is saying, careful Nick, last time you walked into a restaurant you got banned. Yeah, in this game when you break their stuff, like you can get in a street fight and then you could accidentally like break the window and then they won't serve you. And I was, I was crestfallen because I wanted all the food. Oh no, we've already eaten everything here. But this is what it was, braised pork. I just didn't recognize the kanji for it. Oh look, this is a more clear version of the kanji right there. Okay, I still don't know the kanji for pork, but the left one looks like the kanji for corner. Or angle? Where is bra which part of the um, pork is, of the pig is pork? Does it have something to do with an angle or corner? I don't know. What's park number three? Let's look around here. Park number three. Oh, maybe it's this. Hey, this is um, this is where uh, what's it called is. Oh, you're saying maybe like a rib meat? See, that would make sense because, I guess that kind of would be like in, like a corner of the, of the pig. I might have just been reading the kanji wrong. You know, saying shoulder. Okay, a short shoulder is a corner. On a human, at least. Can I go in here? It kind of looks like detailed in there. I want to go inside. I love the amount of detail in their version of um, of Tokyo, though. It's so, so, so detailed. No open flame. That's the thing for fire energy. I can't read the other two. No dangerous goods. Where, where are we? What is this place? They have to warn you about both of those things. Another karaoke place. Soapland President. Okay. There's a big old DVD store. Some kind of group. It says, uh, crap. Winter Month Group. It's not exactly winter though, it's something related to winter. Oh, is this the park? This might be the park. That's not under a bench though, that's just like sitting next to the... Oh, maybe it's in the bathroom? Oh my god, is it gonna be another guy who we need to give toilet paper to? Let's find out. Hato... Ni? Esa? I don't know what these words are supposed to be. Aten... Atai naide. Hmm. They're telling you not to do something. I don't know what esa would be. Esa. Hato ni esa. I don't know what those would be. Those are English words. Gary saying, I guess dangerous doesn't translate well because it said dangeroy. <laughs> Did it really? Oh, I missed that. That's amazing. Oh, God. Is it another guy we have to give toilet paper to for real? Ugh. Uh-oh. No! I don't have enough tissues. Ugh, please help me. What could a guy in a restroom stall possibly need help with? Please, I'm begging you. Ugh. Hey, you okay in there? 
Uh, you can see I'm kind of unwell. I don't think I can come out. Oh, the door is jammed? I can bust it down for you. No, that's not it. It's just really hard to move. Uh, it sounds pretty serious. Hold on, I'll call you an ambulance. Wait, you don't need to do that. Don't be ridiculous. You need to get help before it's too late. Wait, um... Hello, police? Yeah, I got a sick man who needs help in the children's park. No, man! I crapped myself, alright? Happy now? It looks like I just waded through a knee-deep high river of chunky chocolate pudding. Wait, is that what that smell is? You heard me. It's code brown in here. Please, just hang up, would you? Right. Hey, uh, I think he's all better. In a way. We won't need that ambulance after all. <laughs> That's not fishy. Please. You're my only hope. Can you help me? Intervene. Fine, what do you need? Uh, a fresh pair of underwear, please. One that isn't scarred like a corn-flecked war zone. Fine. Sit tight, I guess. Oh, wait, I think I have underwear. Oh. Well, okay. Nurse Ash saying, I know what he means, I'm a GI nurse. Oh, that's cool. Wait, wh uh, which uh, thing were you talking about, though, that you know what uh, what he means? Code Brown. I really, the personality in this game is so good. Let's see if we can uh, check our equipment screen, I think? No, it might be an inventory item. Other? Food, drink, recovery, it's not recovery. Valuables? No. It's gotta be equipment. Uh, I don't think I have this. Nurse Ash saying, it's funny how mean of a mug your character has, yet he's so nice. I know, he's like the biggest, baddest Yakuza out there. Always got a scowl, but he's always got a, a kind word. A fresh pair of underwear, please. One that isn't scarred like a cornflake war zone. All right, I didn't need to hear you say cornflecked war zone again, sir. So now we have to go find... It should be at a... What's this? Popo? No. It would be at like a... Kodobuki Drugs? No. Oh, you could probably get it at Don Quixote or at Ebisu Pond. <laughs> We're going to buy someone's pond underwear. Let's... um. Keep that one on hold, I guess. We can go to Papo. Oh, let's look at the food. I believe that says chicken. I'm not entirely sure, though. But that says... Odamen. It says many something ramen. I... Seems to check out. Can't go in there though. Hello, sir. It says something fat king. I really like not knowing what the kanji mean. I only have a few of them, so like I can recognize like one or two of the pieces of one of the word words. And they're saying, please, no pond underwear. Yeah, it's probably not the best idea. If you really think about it, it's probably not a good idea. Actually, you don't have to think that hard about it at all. Okay, let's give them more money now. I, don't, I have no idea how much the max... You could probably just give them all your money. But I'm going to keep doing it, because it's for the kids. You know, it's for the kids. Alright, let's see what we got here. Hey, we got a Irashaimase, ladies and gents. Can we get some hearts in that chat? Oh, does he have any new stuff? Does he have underwear? <laughs> Do they sell it at the convenience store? We can buy a club sandwich. We can buy... Let's buy more pocket tissues. We might as well have the max. Handmade cookies. Simple handmade cookies wrapped delicately for your convenience. It costs a thousand? Alright, I'll buy two of those. Damn, that's 10 bucks for things that handmade cookies. I like to have one of each item. 
ありがとうございました。You're certainly into your job. はい。I'm glad to hear you say that, sir. I always put the utmost effort into my work, sir. Huh. I thought convenience store clerks were supposed to be a little more low key, though. Oh, we are, sir, but our manager gave us very specific instructions to ensure all of our customers are as satisfied as possible, sir. He also said he'd check in on us and to push the Odin skewers, sir. I'm always on my toes and always full of Odin. Hmm, I guess life behind the counter isn't easy. It's a labor of love, sir. Anyway, please come back soon for all your shopping needs, sir. All right, I'll drop by later. They said be a regular at Papo. Does that mean we have to buy one of each thing now? Where's the Odin skewers? We should probably buy that because he just said that he was supposed to sell it. Odin, hearty stew packed with more than enough assorted goodies to satisfy your hunger. I don't see Odin skewers though. I think Odin is like a type of soup. So I don't know what the skewer would even be. Is this how you become a regular? <laughs> Literally can't buy. Oh, I can buy more stuff. Nope, can't. Oh. Okay, here we go. That's a lot of items. Let's do it. Is that enough to make me a regular? How am I not a regular there? I bought every item at the store. I'm walking back in. Come on. I'm your best customer. I'm keeping this place afloat. Mega. Switch. I don't know what that is, though. Osume means uh, recommended. Croque. Croque. Grand Prix. Croque. I don't know what that is though. Croquet? Like, oh, it's literally like the, the food. Croquet. Or croquettes. I don't know why they would pronounce it like that though. Croquettes are really good. You guys ever eat croquettes? Oh, it's a thing! It was under the garbage. Damn, good thing we checked that. Get out of the way, bikes. Croquettes are like a, uh, uh, it's like a potato pancake. Yeah, basically a potato pancake with like corn and stuff in it. It's really good. Like a fried or a breaded potato pancake. You gotta check in these secret areas, right? That's where the secrets are bound to be. Gary tried to clip the signage, but on mobile. Yeah, sometimes the clipping thing doesn't work that well. But I'll have to go back. When we're back um, near the guy on the toilet, we should be close to it. Look at all these little secret areas. And yet there's no items here, huh? Spaces, thank you for those Irashayamase hearts, by the way. That's our mini game, ladies and gents, for anybody who doesn't know. Anytime you hear somebody say, Irashayamase, you want to uh, send hearts. Oh, here we go. Is this what I think it is? I believe it is. Let's do it. Oh, what does it say on the door? Batting center. Batting center. Uh, I don't know what that is. Samurai mouth rice patty. I don't know. Sabis. Oh, HR, home run. I mean, there's like different kinds of batting that you can do. Oh, look, that's like a regular batting. That's home run game, like home run derby maybe. These all look like the same type of mini game. And then what are you doing? Welcome, sir. Can I help you with anything today? Oh, wait, they have a UFO catcher here? Oh my, who said anything about batting center? I'm going to the UFO catcher. Do they have any new stuff here? What is this thing? An ice machine? It's just like a, a HAL 5000. Or a HAL 9000, rather. HAL 5000 is his uh, his protege. Damn, I think we have all these. But I would still like to catch one. I want a monkey guy. Give me it. Here we go. 
Come on, ladies and gents, send some hearts. Oh, oh well, we knocked him sideways. That's what we want. We got this, we got this. Thank you, Nurse Ash, for the hearts. We're getting this guy. Big boy. Oh, that was a perfect grab! He better not drop that. Oh my god, that was exactly under the neck. That's right where you want it to be. Very well done, Kiryu-san. Killed it there. Gone, gone. Alright, now let's get... Uh, I think we could do this with... Ready for this bold strategy? We're gonna try and scrape this guy in. This is the Nick special. Ready? Oh, it was so close. We wanted to just push him into the thing rather than grab him. It usually works going left to right, but we've never done it going forward to back. It's a little bit tougher. Oh god. I love this, like, coin machine. What even is it? Maybe it's like a parking validation? It doesn't look like it has a slot for coins. Oh yeah, yeah, the coins come out at the bottom. You don't put coins in, you get coins out. So what is this one? The home run derby? Huh? What's up? Oh, home run competition. Okay. What are the prizes? Ah. Sup serene bat, expert bat, secret book of batting. Holy crap. All right, well, we definitely want to do this then. There's Ash saying those monkeys look familiar. Yeah, they have a lot of great um, Sega franchises in this game. I love that they do that. Um, they're the uh, monkey ball guys, super monkey ball. Oh wait, what does that say? Batto. Number one, batto. Number two, sneaka. Number three, herumetto. Oh, I guess they're just saying what you need to have. The fourth one says, I think that says like uh, uh, robot hand. I don't know what that means. Maybe like watch out for the, the automatic ball thrower or something. Maybe it means like wear a glove. Which course would you like to play? Home run course or challenge course? Um, I guess home run first. Okay, swing bat, A. That seems easy enough. Oh, controls. Adjust your aim to the pitching machine's throw. Press A at the proper time to hit the ball. Clearing the course. Swing the ball with good timing and aim to hit a home run. Hitting seven or more home runs in 10 pitches will earn you an A rank. This will clear the course. All right, let's do it. Oh, that's what that is. So we can get a better bat to get better scores. It's like the golfing mini game. Oh, look at that. You can get different kinds of pitches. Hit as many home runs as you can in 10 pitches. Rank A or above to clear. In this course, you'll face some basic breaking balls. Here we go. Oh god. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That was no good. Oh! Okay, so it moves. I get it. I'm doing my best here, guys. That's it. Alright, we got a double. Ooh, that was a good one. Home run. Can we get some hype for that? Send some hearts for the home run minigame, by the way. That's good stuff. Double home run. All right, triple, that's not bad. But we have to get home runs, I guess they're saying. That's a home run right there. Nurse Ash with those hearts, thank you, Nurse Ash. We're killing it here, hold on, ready? Oh, that was a triple, that's still good. A lot of these balls are pretty tricky. Oh, oh, that's too late. We got a single. Single's good. Single's good. Do we have to swing if it's not... Oh, there we go. Out. What? Oh, it's like out of balls, not like you struck out. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I hit four home runs. Alright, so we got a C rank there. We, got, we could do better. We could do better. Let's try the challenge course. What is that? 
Uh, this looks like the same thing. Oh, no? I don't know. This looks like the same thing. Let's try it. There's actually that's pretty good for a first try. Thank you. I'd like to think so. Okay, so this is going to be all fastballs. Score three or more runs in ten pitches to clear. Oh, so this is like you're putting people on base and stuff. I feel like we could do this. We should have done this first. I don't know why this was the, the second one on the list. This seems like the basic one. Because it's all fastballs. There we go. Well, that's one run. Oh, baby! Send some hearts, we're definitely gonna do this one, I think. So all we have to do is time it for this. Because you don't have to move the, uh, the reticle. Killing it here! Four in a row, ladies and gents. Five in a row! Oh my god. I like the little baseball song as well. That's it. Loyal Wolfie, welcome to the stream. Can we get an exclamation mark high for Loyal Wolfie? We are playing Yakuza. Key you want me too? There we go. Can we do all 10 of these? Oh, baby. Game out with those hearts. Nurse Ash with those hearts. Space Dust with those hearts. Thank you, guys. Oh, that was the third base hit. All right. It's still pretty good. Still pretty good, but I'm dead inside. All right. Is it like bowling? Because I feel like we don't... Oh, we did hit 10 balls. Damn, that hurts. That hurts. Oh, Loyal Wolfie came in with the raid. I must have not uh, not seen you then. Thank you so much for coming in with that raid. And uh, instead of welcome then, welcome again <laughs> into, the, into the stream. Now, we want to go for... Wait, so do we have points now for this guy? Oh, wait, not you. For this guy? What's everybody up to today, by the way? What time zone are you guys in? Is it, it for me, it's 3.55 a.m. But, um, the, uh, I don't know what time zone you guys are in or, or what territory. Okay, hold on. We have 25 points. So we can actually get points for doing the regular games. Nurse Ash, five minutes to seven for you. Oh, okay, so you're on the east, east coast, I guess. Good stuff. Boy, Wolfie, 555, nice. Some early rises. Hey, Loyal Wolfie, welcome in to the Meatball Marauders. Can we get some hype in that chat for Loyal Wolfie? Join in the fold. Ladies and gents, don't forget to wave at your computer screen. And uh, Loyal Wolfie, take these 20 meatballs that you get for following. Use it to buy yourself your very own home run bat. And that's going to be a regular bat, except it's got a, um, a hammer on the end of it. So when you hit the ball, it hits it with a hammer and a bat at the same time, and then the ball always gets hit into a home run. So it's pretty useful to have. Enjoy your home run bat and enjoy your stay in the Meatball Marauders. You can type exclamation mark meatballs in the chat if you want to check your channel currency of meatballs, as well as your channel ranking, which is based on how many meatballs you have. You'll see that in the brackets. You can also type exclamation mark games in the chat if you want to see the full list of games you'll be seeing in the coming days and weeks. Welcome on in, Loyal Wolfie. And uh, let's get another hype in that chat. For Loyal Wolfie joining the fold. Oh, by the way, we just broke ground, tink, on that follower goal. So that means, where's that Hogwarts band? Where'd they get off to? Over there? Nope, there they are. Hogwarts band, hit it! <laughs> Ladies and gents, we have broken ground on another follower goal. Amazing! And thank you again to Loyal Wolfie for uh, joining the fold. Now let's jump back in to baseball. Oh, Nurse Ash and PA, nice. We have some PA representation in here. You're in good company. Okay, wait, so we're trying to specifically get home runs now. Oh, crap, I forgot this one moves around. Hmm. But we have to specifically get home runs. That's it. Um, Loyal saying you're playing SAO? Oh yeah, we're playing SAO right now. I just played it earlier, actually. Oh, crap. Um, 
It's the uh, PC version of the game. Oh my god, I am just, just getting destroyed. Yeah, so what we do on here is um, I stream three times a day and seven days a week, and every one of those streams is a, a different game. So uh, we have seven concurrent gameplay series going right now that we switch off between. Ah, oh, crap. Damn. That was no good. We need that home run bat. I mean, if we get like 200 points, let's try doing the home run competition. Because we'll probably get more points for that. Pump the brakes, pal. Cool. Huh? I'm talking to you. Oh, he's got the snap down. That's cool. Sorry for breaking your stride like that, man. I'm Bob Dandy Johnson, a pitcher from the American Major Leagues. Mm -hmm. You're a pro, huh? This here's my wife, she Amy. Isn't she just the cutest little barn burner you've ever seen? <laughs> oh, Dandy, you're so good at making me blush. Anyway, it's nice to meet you, sir. So, you got a name? It's Kiryu. Kiryu -san. Good to meet you, Kiryu-san. I like this guy. So what's a foreign pro baseball player doing here? Well, it's off season right now, so me and Chami took a hop over to the big old Pacific Pond to kick it with her family. I've been practicing in the cages to keep my game sharp, but I crave more. That's when I saw that killer swing of yours. Yeah. Well, I don't think I'd be much of a match for you if that's what you're getting at. So not true. You got some serious oomph with those biceps. Just gotta give your skills the old spit shine and you'll be golden. Like a golden baseball god. How about this? I'll hurl 10 balls your way. If you can knock five home runs out of the park, you win. If not, I win. Hmm. And if you win, oh, and if you win, I'll give you a dandy special autograph ball. I don't give out my John Hancock often, so they're super rare. But if you lose, you gotta pay up to the order at 10,000 yen. The high stakes are gonna kindle the fire of competition real good. So... Uh. Alright, I'll take you on. A little baseball never hurt anybody after all. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Kiryu-san. Let's chase our dreams to baseball stardom. Mind asking Yoshida-san if we can borrow the cages for a bit, Jamie? Not at all. Just give me a sec. Well, here we go, guys. Let's do it. All right, send some hearts. Facing off against the pro pitcher. Oop! Oh my god, he's really good. Oh no. Okay, that was a home run. This is way faster than the other thing. And we were already bad at the other thing. Oop! What the hell? A freedom fastball. Is that like what an American fastball is like? Oh my god, I, I'm never gonna be able to do this. The American dream. He has like special pitches, I love it. Okay, that's a third base, second base hit. But we need home runs though. Damn, what's up with the home runs? Nobody gets home runs. It's not like a normal thing to get. Oh my god, the Soaring Eagle. Well, I'm pretty sure we mathematically have lost. Oh my god. How am I ever going to get that? Maybe if you get the better bats, it'll like slow down time or something. Wow, guys. Guess I went a little too wild Jackson on you. Sorry about that, Kiryu-san. <laughs> I knew this would happen. Never gonna win with that sour grapes attitude, buddy. That'll be 10 grand. Come back when those grapes are a little sweeter, yeah? <laughs> I want grapes too, Dandy. Oh, maybe some yakiniku. Okay, so we can come back and, and face him later. Oh my god. That was intense. That's so stressful to try and hit that ball as it comes in. Nurse Ashley, how do his pitchers have tails like a comet? Cause he's got that freedom Fireworks coming out of the back of his baseball. He's from the USA. That's what all US <laughs> baseballs look like. They all have fireworks coming out of the back of them. That there's a special course. Let's talk once you clear all the advanced challenges. Oh, okay, so we have to do all these. 
And they're saying that 170 kilometers per hour pitch. That is uh, it's pretty, pretty uh, impressive. Oh, so we have to do all the challenge courses, okay. So we already did the first one. I think we could probably do this. Let's give it a shot. Ah, crap. So we have to get three runs in 10 hits, in 10 pitches. That's a little more doable for us. Oh my god. He says, not hitting a single ball. That's a ball right there. That's a spicy meatball. Oh my god. Just watching it go. Just looking at it. Oh, there it is. Good stuff. That's a homer. Good stuff. Oh man, this is looking pretty good for us. Oh, we already got it. We already got it. The, the next four are gravy, baby. Don't got a care in the world. Space Dust, time to walk the puppy. Have a fantastic night, Space Dust. Can we get an exclamation mark night, or rather, an exclamation mark bye for Space Dust? Waking up and walking the dog. Have a great one, Space Dust. Hope to see you again soon. Oh, crap. That was a three base? Yeah. Oh, we did it. Oh, he threw his bat. That's bad sportsmanship, Kiryu. Here we go. Now we can do um, the third challenge course, and that will probably let us do... I think that'll let us do the competition. I, we didn't read what kind of pitches they'll give us, though. Probably should have checked that. That's it. That's one. I want coffee, but I can't pour it or else it's gonna... Gonna throw the ball without me. Oh, that looked like it would have gotten it. Ah. So I think you have to be pretty well centered, like near the ball picture, to actually get a home run. Otherwise, it's gonna, like, you know, go uh, foul. There we go. I like how when the ball hits, you can actually see the dot that it makes on the the wall. That's it. Oh, we got all our runs then. Oh, we only have to get runs, not home runs. So if we put somebody on base and then get a home run, that's two runs. Damn, this one's really easy then. That's it. Game air, off to bed. I go. Have a good stream. See you for the next one. Game air, have a fantastic night. Can we get an exclamation mark by for gaming hour? Heading out of the stream. Uh, have a great one. Or an exclamation mark night, I should say. Have a great night, gaming hour. Hey, Colonel Frosty coming in with a big old raid. Thank you to Colonel Frosty for that raid. Welcome in, guys. We're playing Yakuza Kiwami 2 right now. We are at the batting cages attempting to get home runs because I guess they only care about if you get home runs in this game. It's not really very normal for uh, baseball. Colonel Frosty, what were you playing today and how did your stream go? Can we get some hype in that chat for Colonel Frosty coming in with the raid? And can we get a shout out in here for Colonel Frosty? Colonel Frosty was playing Conan Exiles. Nice. How are you enjoying Conan Exiles? That game, I have not played that game since probably the first four days of the alpha. So it's been a very long time for me. That and Warframe, the two games that I've seen you playing a lot, both of those games I have not played since like their first five days of earliest existence. So like my knowledge of those games is so outdated, but uh, I'm sure they've added a whole bunch of cool things. I loved um, what they had of that game, even from the beginning. It was a lot more stable of a launch than uh, Ark or any of those other sort of like free to play, um, or not free to play, any of those other uh, survival games when they come out. A lot of those games, because there's so much in them, they'll just be like, here's everything, and it just destroys all computers at all times. Um, but yeah, that game is, uh, is really cool. Uh, welcome everybody into the stream. We have uh, Burple coming into the show. We have Tibor coming in. We have Vila Princess. Welcome in. Welcome in Colonel Frosty. Welcome guys to the stream. Thank you so much for coming in here. Thank you, uh, Colonel, for sharing your community with me. And uh, we are uh, Yakuza-ing right now. So 
That means, as I described it before, we're either going to be beating up gangsters, we're either going to be at a Japanese crane machine in an arcade, or we're going to be managing a hostess club. Those are the only three things that you do in Yakuza. And you also play baseball, as we're doing right now. Uh, so the real uh, diverse catalog of... Uh, Kiryu's a real renaissance man, I should say. He does everything. And uh, this game's amazing. Anybody, number one, who has not checked out Colonel Frosty before, uh, make sure you guys get over there. I'm going to post another shout-out in that chat. Uh, you should absolutely follow Colonel Frost. He's just a, a incredible person in general. Very, very nice, welcoming, uh, excellent community. Guys, make sure you get on Colonel Frosty's stream. It's an excellent stream that you should a thousand percent be a part of. Now, uh, anybody who doesn't know uh, my channel, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story-focused games on here, and I don't talk over the story or cutscene moments, but they are what we call ultra-blind playthroughs, so I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of the game. If you want to see more of what happens on the channel, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going now, including Yakuza Kiwami 2. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you so much for coming in with Colonel Frosty's Raid. And once again, thank you to Colonel Frosty for the uh, sharing your community with me. It's very highly appreciated. How goes your night? How goes Yakuza? It is going quite well. We have hit many home runs so far. But, oh, look at this. My, my controller ended up on the thing for Cabaret Club Grand Prix because they knew... They knew that I wanted to be back in the cabaret club. This is our favorite aspect of Yakuza, which is um, the cabaret managing minigame. And uh, man, we're, it's in Osaka, and right now we're in Kabukicho, so we can't do it. And I feel like less of a man right now. I feel like a, a broken, like half of my, you know, I left my heart in Osaka. I, I really, uh, I feel like a shell, like a husk. Essence of Switch Hitter, that's probably good. Oh look, that, oh that's what's her name, that's Mama. At the, uh, we should buy that. So we got a bunch of skills, I don't know where we got these from. But, we should probably buy some stuff. Colonel Frosty saying, glad you were up so I could share back that raid love. How late do your streams usually go, Colonel Frosty? Is this the normal, uh, end time for you? I feel like this is pretty late. No, what, what time zone are you in? You're even farther, um, uh, eastward than I am. Well, I guess anybody's farther eastward than I am because I'm on the west coast. <laughs> we want to go to... De -de 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 -de. Yeah, I really I do very much appreciate that you uh, shared your community, though. We're going to buy some alcohol tolerance here. We're going to buy some... we got to get that club hustler, even though we're not at the club right now. Oh, nurse saying, I think that code brown guy needs the aid digestion. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, we need to get him that skill stat. We actually have a... Uh, a bottle that we can drink that will uh, that will uh, uh, make it so that we digest faster. And I wish we could have given that to him before before he uh, pooped his pants. Oh, that's the other thing we're doing in Yakuza right now is we're trying to buy new underwear for a guy who pooped his pants. Um, so yeah, it's really just got a little bit of everything. Oh, Vila's saying this is a normal end time. Wow, maybe I've just never been at the end of a stream. I guess it's just too late or early for uh, for me. That is amazing. You go super late, Colonel Frosty. I love it. This is a... Uh, <laughs> I'm saying that as I am currently live at that exact time. But uh, yeah, this, usually I, I end around like uh, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock-ish. And uh, that's pretty hardcore, Colonel Frosty. I love it. I love it. And Nurse Ash saying, that sounds like a terrible idea. He already digested too fast. That's true. Good thing we didn't have it then, because I would not have known what to do. See, that's why we need the nurse in the chat to, to advise on how to not make someone poop their pants. It's a very important thing to know. Oh, slightly increases attack speed. That's good. Let's buy that. We got so many skill points. They added a thing to this game where you, um, you actually get more, you get XP for every food you eat at the restaurants, which in Yakuza is like my favorite thing to do anyway, because all the food looks really good. So uh, we are getting a lot of XP in this game. Oh, we can get a bunch of health upgrades. Yeah, baby. Oh, and we got the max attack. Good stuff. We have A rank attack, plus 34. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, now... We have no skills that we could buy. We bought every possible skill so far. Let's save this real quick just so that we don't lose all of our amazing batting cages progress. And I'm going to need you guys to wish me some luck because we're going to try and go in on the next level of challenge courses, Intermediate 1. In this course, you'll face breaking balls that curve slightly. 
a one seam, a cutter, and a splitter. Lil Wolfie's saying I have a dilemma. I'm hungry, but I don't want to move. Okay, we'll eat a, uh, we'll eat one of the foods in Kiryu's, uh, Kiryu's inventory, and then you'll be eating uh, by proxy. That's what we can do once we get out of the batting cage. Oop! Oh, oh, it's still a hit. Man, getting on base, Kiryu. So in this, you don't have to hit a home run. You just have to get people on base. See, like that counts as two runs, right? Yeah, so now we're at three runs. Oh, baby. Kiryu's just dominating the batting cages right now. Who does this? They just go to the batting cage and they hit like 50 home runs. He needs to go to the major leagues. Kiryu is an absolute champion. Ladies and gentlemen, put him in cleanup. Oh my god, this guy is a monster. Oh, baby. Ready? Hey! I'm making this look like I'm not terrible at hitting home runs. Got him! Good stuff. Oh, man. Can we get some hype in there? Ten runs. Ten runs. Holy crap. Oh look, you get one times points for a normal bat. So we can actually get more points for a better bat. I wonder how much the better bat costs. Let's go check that. Oh, but this one's for Loyal Wolfie. We're gonna eat an item here. I think this actually achieves the opposite effect, but live vicariously through Kiryu. We'll get the Yaki Super Cup Extra Large Squid Yakisoba. It fills up your stomach meter by 10 points. So that should, uh, that should hold you over, I think. This unique yakisoba blends a variety of sauces with both pork and fish broth. As a result, its multifaceted flavor is sour, rich, and delectable. Here you go. Let's eat it. Iyashita. He said it was good. I don't know what aji means. I means good. Da means is. I don't know what aji means. There you go though. Oh, maybe it's like maji, which is like, uh, like seriously. So like seriously good. I nurse Ash saying it's Kiryu's first time. Could you imagine some first time of just swinging and hitting like that? Yeah, he's like the next Babe Ruth. Kiryu is literally like a baseball prodigy, and yet he chooses to spend his days running a cabaret club and fighting Japanese gangsters for locker keys. That's just what he likes to do, though. He's got to follow his calling. Colonel Frosty, BRB, to do some shoutouts. Colonel Frosty, thank you so much for sharing your community with me once again. Here I get some hearts for Colonel Frosty, guys, in that chat. We love Colonel Frosty on here. Oh, we have 95 points. So that means we basically only have to double our, our score and then we'll get the next level of bat. Let's try another cage. Let's see if that's any different. Challenge course, advance two. Here we go. I didn't realize what the, uh, or I didn't read what the new type of um, thingy is though, what the new type of ball. That's a homer, ladies and gents. Boom. Watch very closely at the wall. You can just barely see the dot where the, the ball hits the wall. I love that detail. It's such a good detail. Because it makes like a little imprint. Oh my god. You just watched it go by. That's all right. It's all right, Kiryu. Good hustle. Not really, but sort of. A fork ball. What the heck is a fork ball? I haven't played baseball since I was like... I don't know, 12 years old. So uh, I'm living out <laughs> vicariously through Kiryu. All right, that's a third base hit. So that means if we can get another home run, we win. Or we bring a guy in. All right, now we got two people on base. Wait, what? Oh, so that guy just got there. Well, good stuff. Hey, that's six runs right there. Good stuff, ladies and gents. Oh my god. A fork ball. That was a fork ball. I don't know what a fork ball even is. It forks? Does it go in two directions at once? I don't know. It just has a weird trail on it. Hey, Simo Simo, welcome into the stream. It's that podcast guy. How's it going? I like that. That's a good intro. Good stuff. Can we get some hearts in that chat for uh, some Twitch playbook love in there, by the way? Simo Simo, welcome to the stream. Can we get an exclamation mark high for Simo Simo joining the show as well? Uh, we are playing Yakuza Kiwami 2 right now. Oops, that's heart. 
Oh, I have a command for heart. I think of everything. <laughs> Just complimenting myself. Uh, can we get some hearts for that Twitch playbook love, though, ladies and gents? Welcome in. So we want to keep... We're, we're at the batting cages right now. But I think it's time for a quick interlude. Which one do you think is the number one type of... I'm going to go for the... Mm, maybe the little dogs, because there's two machines full of dogs. What do you guys think? The brown dog or the, the black and white dog? What's the type that we're going for here? See, I'm saying, looking forward to my next dog walk to finish off the series. Series of uh, Yakuza? Or... Abila is saying Husky. Um, is that the black and white one? I'm going to say it's the black and white one. Let's do it! I thought Huskies were white. Oh, black and white, okay. Oh, we're pretty well placed for this guy. I like their eyelashes. Look how big their eyelashes are. Oh no, he got caught on the other dog! That is... See, you know what? That's... That was just... They are trying to rob me of my one dollar. This cost us 300 yen, which is like three US dollars. Alright, wait, we're gonna push this guy right in. Ready? Gravity! Oh, that wasn't gravity. Oh, see what I was saying? Finish off your podcast. Oh, I was like, how do you play Yakuza while you're while you're walking the dog? Amazing. Thank you so much for uh, for the love uh, on the podcast. I'm glad you enjoy it. Oh, yes, that's it. That's it right there. You just gotta push it in. You don't actually have to pick it up. Good stuff, ladies and gents. Can we get some hype in there? What's this guy called? Pillow pups, French bulldog. That's not a pillow pup. Pillow pups are totally different. Oh, I'm thinking of pillow pets. Pillow pets. Those are those things that are like, you unfold it and it turns into a pillow. Yeah, I remember those commercials. <laughs> Little Whoopi has a black and white dog. Well, here you go. This, uh, this guy here. I guess he was a French bulldog. Let's take a look at him real quick. Where is he? Oh, pillow pup, French bulldog. There he is. Look at his eyelashes. An adorable brand of dog plushies known as pillow pups. The French bulldog version. We also have the Golden Retriever version. Good stuff. Oh crap, I keep forgetting to look at what kind of what kind of pitches they're gonna give us. <laughs> and there's Ash saying, this stream is such a trip, I love it. Yeah, this game just is literally everything at the same time. It's like the weirdest experience, but it's the best. I love Yakuza so much. Get it! Oh man, that was good. That was a fork ball, I think. I get so into the baseball mini game. I don't know why. It's very stressful. It's like you gotta you gotta hit it at the exact like that. <laughs> it's a physical experience. I'm putting my whole body behind this button press. That's a hit. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh man, that's a foul ball. Okay, we still, we have one more run to go and we have somebody on base. Oh, that's it. We got it. We have six runs now. Good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. That means we're getting this new bat, I think. Or maybe we can enter the competition now. Oh my god. What the heck was that? A change-up? That is definitely not what a change-up looks like. That's it. Good stuff. At the end, nine runs, I think. Yeah, baby. I love how he just throws the bat. He's so excited. Clear all intermediate batting challenge courses. What do you say? Are we good enough? Oh, all the advanced challenges, you said. Okay. Um, I'm going to hold off on the advanced challenges for later. We can save that for another time. We don't have to do them all all at once, you know? Let's go back onto the street here. We got the Hotel Saro Anasha. Saro Anasha. I don't know what that is. Saro Anasha. Oh look, it says it under there. Hotel Saloe Saloe Shura. I don't know what that's supposed to say. Hawaii Hawaii. 
Hotel Hawaito. I don't know what any of these katakana words are supposed to say. Usually katakana words represent English words. So like if you say it out loud, you can kind of hear what it's supposed to be. But uh, what it's supposed to be in English, I mean. But those ones did not seem to be actual English words. Yeah, that's the interesting thing about Japanese is that if you're an English speaker, you already know most of the words that you're going to see on Japanese street signs as long as you can read one of their one of the three alphabets uh, in Japanese is literally just English words. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to show like um, no, it says Poki Day. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It says Arubaito Staff. Albite Staff? Is that like the name of the place? But anyway, yeah, you can kind of... You kind of That's already amazing. have the uh, the tools that you need. Ooh, Beeful Place! Oh, that's a proper frosty beer right there. That's some, some true Tokyo frosty iced glass of beer. The best. Although it's not usually 430 yen. You'll get that for like 200 yen. Like literally like two dollars for like a giant frosty mug of beer, and it's the best. Beer is really cheap in Tokyo. I don't know why. All right, we're just buying everything on the menu here. Beef bowl, the famous beef bowl that put Akau Shimaru on the map. Let's do it. Akau Shimaru. That says, uh, "What is Aka?" Is a uh, red cow circle? Red cow circle? Oh, there is a red circle in that logo. Interesting. Akaushimaru. Oh, and I guess cow makes sense because it's all beef stuff. That's got to be a bonus. A joyous drink alone. Super staples. Good stuff. Saikuka. And there's actually saying sirloin coins. Oh, you think that's what it means? It could be. Oh god, I'm knocking over their chairs. If we knock over too many chairs, we did this in another restaurant, if you knock over too many of their uh, stools, they'll actually not let you eat there. Oh, he, this guy is pretty cool about it. But a lot of times, like if you break all their stuff, or if you break the window, uh, then they'll just be like, we can't let you, we can't let you in. <laughs> Which I was very uh, surprised by. But you gotta appreciate the level of detail on that. Adam, host club Kamurocho. I still think um, Kiryu should be uh, should be working at a host club. He's a very charming guy. He he charms everybody who meets him. Oh, there's a steakhouse. All right, we gotta go to that. Hey, look at that. That's why we do it, ladies and gents. Gold plate. I love these little like. Look at this. Yoink. I, why do they even have that in a garage? So people can't see the car, but you can still see the car in there <laughs> pretty pretty clearly. Maybe it's just so it feels cool when you come out of the garage. I'm pretty sure the only thing that would accomplish is that you can't see the pedestrians that are on the street when you're driving the car, which is the exact opposite of what you would want. But it looks cool. That it does. Hotel Valencia, premium resort. Rest, stay. Oh, so this is an interesting concept. Um, you can rest at a hotel. So basically what this is, is... Okay, we're gonna get a little bit more adult here. In Japan, the idea is like, the the walls are so thin typically in a, in a house that if you, uh, you wanna have to spend some quality time maybe with your significant other, then um, you can't do it at home, really, because the walls are so thin. So you have to go and rent a place in a hotel. They call them love hotels. And uh, you go there with, it's not like a, you know, a place of illicit business or something. Like, you go there with a person that you are already bringing there. It's not like you go there to, like, meet somebody. Um, but yeah, you, you rent a place there so that you can do what you want to do. And it looks like for three hours, it's damn. That's a, this one's kind of expensive. Sixty-four dollars. 
for three hours at this place. Ninety-eight dollars for a stay, but um, yeah. So like, basically, that you would never see that at a regular hotel where it's like, do you want to stay three hours at this hotel? Like, obviously not. But um, in Japan, it's like you don't necessarily actually plan to stay at the hotel. You're not staying overnight. Um, they're saying with the population in Japan, there are a lot of apartments crowded together. Yeah, that's exactly like, I guess that's the reason why it's so like hard to like get any time to yourself. And also the, there's a lot of aspects where it's like uh, a lot of families live with, you know, married couples and stuff live with their parents or grandparents. So like they can't really get any privacy at home. It's a really interesting like anthropological concept because obviously there's not really anything like that in the U.S. A purple saying, you need exercise, you know? Yeah, we gotta, we gotta fight some thugs so that we can then go to the steakhouse. Speaking of which, here we go. Get him! Give me a tire. No, not that. A tire. Not that. A tire. Not that. Maybe I can't get the tire. I want the tire though. All right, let's beat him up with a garbage can then. Come here, sir. I'm gonna teach you. Get him! There we go. Good stuff. Welcome Oz the Boss to the stream. Can we get an exclamation mark? Hi, for Oz the Boss joining the show. Oh, Purple saying all those bodies you're leaving around. Couldn't see the pedestrians. Yeah, exactly. That's like a it's like a way out with that with that garage. It's pretty pretty ingenious actually. <laughs> I like that. Oh, this is another hotel. This one costs This is from three thousand yen, which is thirty dollars. I don't know what mm, I don't know what the kanji for those says though. That one says body something. Oh, this might be a different kind of hotel. Let's just slowly walk away. Oh, look at that. AM 5 o'clock to PM 7 o'clock. And you can stay from these amounts of times? Why would the hotel be open only certain times? That's a weird thing. Hey, Burple, welcome on in to the Meatball Marauders. Can we get some hype in that chat? For Burple, join in the fold. Don't forget to wave at your computer screens, ladies and gents, for Burple, join in the fold. Uh, Burple, take this, these 20 meatballs, use it to buy yourself your very own um, garage that has hanging down cloth uh, in front of your driver's uh, window so that you can't see all the pedestrians you accidentally run over getting out of your garage. It's a great, it's a great excuse as we have now established. Enjoy uh, your, your get out of jail free cards and uh, enjoy your stay in the Meatball Marauders. You can type exclamation mark meatballs in the chat if you wanna check your channel currency of meatballs as well as uh, your channel ranking, which is based on how many meatballs you have. You'll see that in the brackets there. You can also type exclamation mark games if you wanna see the full list of games we'll be seeing in the coming days and weeks, including Yakuza Kiwami too. Welcome in. We got that hype from Oz the Boss. Thank you Oz the Boss for that hype. And let's see what we got here. Oh, this is a health, health place. So a health place is like, um, I think this is like, uh, n you don't want to go here. Or it's like not, um, let's put it this way. If we went there, um, Twitch would ban me. <laughs> Good thing they don't let us go in. Oh, nursing health club, we have a few of those in my town. Really? I've never heard of that concept or that like, um, that phrasing for it before, um, before I was in Japan. But yeah, now that you say it, like health club sounds, it sounds more familiar. This one's called Made in Girls. That's a girl's bar. Made in in Garuzu. So this is um, 60 minutes, 3,500 yen. Whiskey. So this is a bar. 
it's either a bar for women only, which is definitely a thing that they do in Japan. Uh, and they also have train cars that are only for women, which is just a lot of only for women stuff there because of some of the things that go down. But uh, it's either a bar that's only for women or a bar where you pay to um, like have a woman at your table and then you talk to her, uh, which is also a big thing in, uh, in Japan. Oh look, this is that area on the back of the at the back of the batting cages that we found earlier. Damn, I want to try my reversal, but I, I can never do it. That guy just completely whipped. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, come on! I want to reverse somebody. Damn, I can't do it. There you go. That's it. Good stuff. Get it, baby. Oh my god. This guy is just getting flung around. Alright, sir. I'm gonna bring you near this wall and then I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get you. Oh, we left a blood stain on the wall. Hello, sir. Would you like to be hit with a sign? Can I find any signs? Maybe, uh, how about a soda can? Are you thirsty? Oh, man. I hope that thing didn't break and then cut up his face. That's a metal can right there. Although I have to say, Japanese um, soda cans are like the strongest substance in the known world. Hey, Oz the Boss, gift and a sub. Thank you so much to Oz the Boss. That is very generous of you. Can we get an exclamation mark award in that chat for Oz the Boss? Gift and a sub to Dorian D. Congratulations, Dorian D. You have received a membership in the Coffee Posse. Oz the Boss, thank you so much for gifting that sub. Can we get some hearts in there? Can we get some hype in there? And let's join in a chorus of Voice of Nick Love right there. Let's get a bunch of Voice of Nick Love in that chat for Dorian D. Join in the fold. Now, uh, Dorian D., as a member of the Coffee Posse, you get many things on this channel, including the Voice of Nick emote, legendary status in the chat and Discord, 200 meatballs, higher chance to win in the heist minigames and ad-free streams. You also have the handsome sub badge in front of your name. Thank you so much to Oz the Boss for gifting that sub. And welcome back, Dorian D., into the Coffee Posse. Oz the Boss, uh, that is very, very nice of you. Oh, my, my, uh, my Streamlabs thing is like, freaking out right now. It's like all, all glitched out. But I can see it there. It says, has gifted the sub. That's super weird. I've never seen it look like that before. Thank you so much to Oz the Boss. How are you doing, by the way, uh, Oz the Boss? Joining the show. What are you up to on this fine, fine day? What is today? Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Oh, this is the steakhouse. Okay, good. Let's go here. Oh, look, this is a picture of this guy. Is that him? Let's compare these photos. They definitely have similar hats, similar shirts. Is that all it takes to be the same person? Is that all it takes? Ozdabas saying it was my turn to gift a sub. Paying it forward. That is so nice of you, Ozdabas. Thank you so much. Wow, this place is really detailed. I wonder if this is like a chain or something, because it's got like sort of established branding. Ikinari steak. I don't know. Hello, sir. Hey, we got a irashaimase on here. Can I get some hearts in that chat for that irashaimase? Oh, I love this soup is in a little teacup. It's a big old tenderloin steak, 200 gram? How much is 200 gram? I don't know metric system. Oh, wow, we got plenty of... Ribeye steak? Yeah. Oh my god. Imagine Kiryu is going to be the number one going to the bathroom now. Oh man. That's a lot of food right there. He eats it standing up. I feel like when you get side dishes, that's usually the key to getting a. Um, like a combo meal. Nurse Ash getting those hearts. Nurse Ash saying you always praise before you eat. Such a good man. Yeah, that's actually like a Japanese um, custom, as you say, uh, 
Itadakimasu, like you put your hands together and you say that. It's, it's, I think it's originally a religious thing, but it's more now like a sort of just like a general customary thing to do. And yeah, people like do it even though there's no one around, or like even if they're alone, they'll do it. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the translation, a lot of times it's just translated to like, let's eat. But it doesn't really mean that. It means like, um, it's almost like thank you for this food or something. So it might be partially religious. Why do we have to go into this thing just to get a, a vending machine? There's got to be a mission in here sometime. Oh wait, this is the place where uh, that one bar was, right? I can't find it anymore. Oh yeah, that's Club Night Slit. That's what I was thinking of. Club Night Slit is here. <laughs> wairudo. Wairudo. Uh, cocktail. Party. <laughs> Wild cocktail party. They're saying like, thanks to the universe for this food. Sort of, yeah, I guess, I guess it is that. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's one of those things where it's like, you know, uh, when people say like, like bless you in, uh, in English, it's like probably originated, I'm sure it originated as a religious thing, but now it's just more of like a cultural sort of habit. I think it's the same kind of situation. So this is where the big um, homeless area was last time. Let's see what's going on with uh, purgatory these days. Damn. Very rude of you. Don't hit me. Get him. Good stuff. Nurse Ash saying yikes. Yeah. Night Slit is like my least favorite club name that we've ever seen in this game. Hello, sir. He's like lounging. So we want to work off some of this uh, steak so that we can... Oh, you know what else? We, we still wanted to go to... Uh... Nope, not Papa. We're going to have to go all the way south to get the underwear. Yeah, because we're not going to be able to get it here. Imagine that guy, he's just sitting in the bathroom stall for hours. CP Hotel, stay Sunday through Thursday. Oh, because the Saturday costs more, I get it. Yeah, rest from 3,500 yen. Oh, Chateau Prism, what a weird name for a hotel. What is this? Like I said, ah, uh, everyone just shut up. Oh look, it's another Maiden Girls. Maybe it's like a, a chain? Is something wrong? Uh? Hell yeah, there is. The construction work in that park is driving me batty. The noise just keeps, this, keeps me up the whole damn night. You know, you know how once you notice a sound you can't stop noticing it? Well yeah, that's me. And this town was already freaking loud. Maybe I should just move. Oh, sorry to hear that, sir. Colonel Frosty, all right, my friend, I'd be tired and I need to catch some Z's. You have a great stream. We'll catch you next time. Thank you so much to Colonel Frosty for uh, sharing your community with me. Guys, once again, if you haven't checked out Colonel Frosty before, let's get another shout out in that chat for Colonel Frosty. You should absolutely do so. Colonel Frosty comes very highly recommended on this channel. And uh, Colonel Frosty, have a fantastic night. Let's get an exclamation mark night in that chat for Colonel Frosty. Let's see what we get here. May your Majima be everywhere and your Kiryu be ever at the ready. Wow, what an appropriate uh, knight command. That was perfectly uh, executed there. It was meant to be. It was perfectly done. Colonel Frosty, have a great one. Have a great one. So many of these garages. Aha! Look at that. A red bun, nice. 
Luna Blue Hotel. Eto, I guess I would say To Hotel. So it's like reality or real hotel. Go. Eto, I don't know that one. Something task. Tree. Task. No direction. Something outside. No. Maybe it's talking about the outside parking. Uh, that's definitely car. Something with car. Wa o. Something with close. Ri I guess like keep your cars close by or something. Uh, outside the hotel. Getting there. Getting there. A little bit more every day with the kanji. That's the hard part about Japanese is that um, the um, the kanji alphabet, they have three alphabets. One of them is, two of them are pretty easy, hiragana and katakana. But the third one uh, has 50,000 characters, so you just kind of have to work your way through it. Um, there's really only 2,000 that are in wide, widely used, but um, they're not really as logical for somebody who's a native English speaker. So you kind of just need to just buckle down and, and just learn those and that's what I've been working on now is the kanji stuff. Um, yeah. It's been a really good time though. <laughs> hey, you there! You interested in making some sweet memories tonight? I mean, when you put it that way. Cool. Uh, excuse me? Sorry, let me start over. I work for a photo studio that just opened right here in the flashy streets of Kamuro Show. I'm out here trying to tell people about all the wonder we've got in store. Yeah, sorry. Having my picture taken doesn't sound all that wonderful. I'll pass. Yeah. Wait, you have it all wrong. You're the one taking the pictures, not me. Mm -hmm. Huh? And how does that work exactly? <laughs> Our studio puts the customer in control, letting them snap hot pics of even hotter ladies. Now how does that sound? It's unique, if nothing else. We only hire the freshest models in town, too. What do you say, sir? <laughs> If you butter the girls up real good, they might even let you take some special photos, if you know what I mean. Mm. Oh, God. Special. Ah, I see. I piqued your interest. Just follow your heart, pal. Yeah. Honestly, I'm not that... Say no more, my man. I'll make your first time free as a promo deal. Let's be off, then. Oh. What is this? Hey, who said I agreed to this? What is this? Ready for action, Kyoko-chan? We have a customer for you. Hey, welcome Thermal into the Meatball Marauders. Can we get some hype in that chat for Thermal and for whatever the heck is about to go down here, guys? Uh, welcome in, Thermal. Don't forget to wave at your computer screens, ladies and gents. Uh, for Thermal, join in the fold. Take these 20 meatballs that you get for following. Use it to buy yourself your very own uh, customer-controlled photo studio where apparently the customers get to take the pictures of girls. Where do they get the... I have so many questions about the business model that they have here, but it's definitely unique. Uh, enjoy your customer controlled photo studio and enjoy your stay in the Meatball Marauders. You can type exclamation mark meatballs in the chat if you want to check your channel currency of meatballs as well as your channel ranking, which is based on how many meatballs you have. You can also type exclamation mark games if you want to check the uh, full list of games you'll be seeing in the coming days and weeks <laughs> as a member on here. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hey, Thermal's in that chat as well. Can we get an exclamation mark hi for Thermal? Join in the chat as well. Oh man, here we go, guys. And they're saying, what a greasy man. <laughs> oh, man. Loyal Wolfie waves. Thank you, Loyal Wolfie, for waving in there. Here we go. Coming. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy yourself. I know you will. Right. <laughs> Are you nervous, mister? That's so cute. Yeah, it's my first time in a place like this. That's okay. Just do your best and take some nice pictures of me. Heart. <laughs> All right, here I go. <laughs> You're as pure as snowflake, mister. I like that. Maybe it'd be fun to see what you think of a little more. I, oh. <laughs> well, did you make any memories for, th oh God. Did you make any memories for the rub register, pal? His words, not mine. The what? Ma maybe? <laughs> Glad it was to your liking. I think we'll be seeing each other again, yes? Looking forward to it, my man. Bye now. If I'm up to it, I guess. Oh my god, please never say those words again, sir. Oh god, we can do more of it. <laughs> I love that it was just a black screen. You just imagine what happens. Alright, well, we're here. 
Under Sash, I learned a new euphemism. There you go. Yeah, it's like a special kind of cash register. It's that's it right there next to Kiryu. That's the uh, the register in question, and I won't hear it any other way. Good to see you, friend. What do you want to do today? Replay. We can replay one of them. What have I seen here? Whoa! Oh wow! We actually can't. Oh my God! Look at all these. No! What is this? Look at all these videos! Hold on. Guys, whoa. Nurse is saying nobody touched that register ever. Yeah. Oh my god, what is happening here, guys? Are we gonna create our own registers? Nice choice, enjoy! Oh my god. Oh, it is actually a mini game. Oh my god, wait, hold on a second. Select option one, two, three, reset selection, A, X, and Y. B is reset. Here we go, we got three screens here. Answer the girl's questions by combining phrases to form sentences. Make sure to pick answers she'll like. The girl will be disappointed if your sentence doesn't make sense or if you can't form a complete answer within the time limit. Oh my God, this is so involved. I love, they, if there's nothing else that's amazing, okay, everything's amazing about Yakuza, but one of the biggest things I love about these games is they go so hard into their mini games. Like the, there's three screens of explanation about this photo taking mini game. It's not just like, take a sexy photo. It's like, you have to do this whole thing. I love it. Heart gauge. The heart gauge will fill if you manage to form a complete sentence. Some answers will fill the gauge more than others. So try and make sentences the girl will like. The gauge will not fill if you run out of time or form a nonsense sentence. You can clear a stage by making sure the girl is in a good mood when the photo shoot session ends. If you work hard, she might even try on new outfits for you to see. All right, guys, here we go. What time is it, 4.49 a.m.? I guess it's that kind of time when all these kinds of streams come out. I don't know. All right, we got, I guess you guys can choose. You wanna do Hira, Hira, Hikaru Aoyama or Rina Hashimoto? Hikaru, Rina. Hey, thank you to Garadactyl for the host. I'm gonna pour some coffee while we wait here. Oh man, oh man. And Nurse Ash saying, we're gonna bathe ourselves in hand sanitizer and think about what we've done. <laughs> Nurse Ash saying, how about Hikaru? Let's do it. Oh my God. Oh, we have multiple outfits. Oh my God, we have a lot of outfits. Okay, we got like regular Hikaru. We got like crop top Hikaru. We got the, the uh, cheerleader Hikaru. Maid Hikaru in high demand. Swimsuit Hikaru. And then other swimsuit, two piece swimsuit Hikaru. <laughs> Purple saying, I choose yes. Yeah, this is the thing for us in Yakuza games is like, we're gonna choose one thing at first, but we always end up doing all the mini games. <laughs> There's so many amazing mini games. Here we go. Why is there so many outfits? Why is there so many options? This is so fleshed out. Oh my God. Okay, here we go. Would you like to play this course? Yes. This thing like it's a round of golf. <laughs> Why did they let him take the photos? Like, how is he gonna take a good photo? He's never even taken a photo in his... Whoa, it's a real person! Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Wow, this store. My name is nothing to write home of. Kazuma. Uh, Kiryu, oh my God. Wow, that was kind of hard. Okay, this is stressful already. It's a real person. Oh god. I can't, I'm worried. You're way cuter. In person than. Uh, the photos. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, we're doing it guys, we're doing it. <laughs> You're welcome. Send some hearts ladies and gents. What's her name, Hikaru? Whoa. Wait, a good deal, don't you think? I'm honored to have the chance to, why should she be with you today? We did it, ladies and gents. Oh my God. What happened? There you go. Oh, she didn't like that one that much. I'm gonna keep my finger on the put the thing away button. That see-through blouse 
takes my breath away. Oh, we got it, ladies and gents. Hey, Red Dagger with that raid. Thank you so much for Red Dagger. We're in the middle of a very stressful mini game right now. Man, the timer really does it. Uh, can we get some hype in that chat for Red Dagger and Raiders? Um, I think you should show. Oh, I didn't mean to say this. Some more skin. I didn't know where it was going to go. <laughs> They're saying it's even more stressful than baseball. I'm pretty sure this isn't supposed to be stressful either. But like any game with a timer like that is always going to stress me out. Welcome, uh, don't omit, welcome Nurse, or not Nurse Ash. <laughs> welcome Red Dagger into the stream. <laughs> me? Never. Welcome again, Nurse Ash, I should say. <laughs> Any man would think pervy thoughts with you in front of them. Ah, we got it. That's a pretty good sentence. Okay, come on. I'm trying to take photos of you. Face the camera, dang it. <laughs> the only person who says that. She doesn't like that one. <laughs> I want, no, I can't. I'm sure your shoulders hurt from carrying those things around all day oh my god <laughs> guys i'm keeping my hand on this we got that thing ready to go <laughs> no we're on twitch you're not allowed it's over <laughs> you're not allowed to show us anymore red dagger got a pack throw up a lurk Wanted to show some love. Thank you so much, Red Dagger. Now that we're out of this mini game, can we get some hype in that chat for Red Dagger? And can we get a shout out in there? Thank you so much for sharing your community with me. It is very highly appreciated. We just enjoyed the, or enjoyed, we just discovered this extremely stressful um, photography, photography, photography mini game. What were you playing today, Red Dagger? Let's get a shout out in here for Red Dagger joining the show. Yakuza Kiwami 2 is the game that keeps on giving. Red Dagger was playing some Dead by Daylight. Nice. I've still never touched that game. I think I got it on PlayStation Plus, but I don't have PlayStation Plus anymore, so now I guess I don't have it. But it looks really cool. It's like a, it's like um, like a asymmetrical killer. You know, one killer, a bunch of people trying to they're trying to escape. I played the Friday the Thirteenth game, which I guess was based sort of on the gameplay style of that. So I suppose I know what it's about. How did your uh, how did your Dead by Daylighting go? Oh, you're saying it's addicting? Yeah, it looks like one of those games where it's like probably very stressful, like this, where you're like, oh, I could just make it, I could just make, it. oh, he got me. But uh, yeah, that sounds amazing. And I always see new characters coming out for that thing. Like, there's new like uh, monsters and uh, movie movie villains and stuff. That's really cool. That's really really cool. Thank you so much for sharing your community with me, Red Dagger. Uh, anybody who has not checked out Red Dagger, get over there on that shout out. I'm gonna post that shout out one more time um, for you guys to click on Red Dagger. Get over, click on that link for some Dead by Daylight. Uh, and make sure that if you like what you see that you hit that follow button, ladies and gents. Anybody who's coming over who doesn't know my channel, it's called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story focused games, as you can tell by the story of us um, attempting not to get um, get this lady to do anything inappropriate while we take photos of her in Yakuza. Uh, it's all story focused games out here and I don't talk over the story or cutscene moments, but they are what we call ultra blind playthroughs. So I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of the game series. If you wanna see which games are being played on the channel, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You'll get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going right now, including Yakuza Kiwami 2. <laughs> oh, Red Dagger saying Ghostface from Scream is the newest one. That's a very good one to have. I love that, that's awesome. Burple got to walk the dog by. See you later, Burple. Have a fantastic day. Can we get an exclamation mark by for Burple heading out of the stream? And uh, oh, Red Dagger saying went good. Lots of good matches. That's good. Sometimes there's those days where it's just like nothing's coming up. Millhouse. Like that's basically me every time I play a multiplayer game. But you know, like even if when you're like really good at a multiplayer game, sometimes there are those days where it's just like I'm not I'm not getting anything today. So it's good to hear. That you had a good uh, day's worth of of uh, Dead by Daylight. All right, I feel like now we have to try Rena, right? Oh wait. Oh, so now we can get regular clothes. Okay. We have to say hi to Rena, though, guys. I mean, we just gotta. 
I'm gonna get introduced. I love that. The, so like they literally had to go hire two models. And oh wait, look at all her costumes. She has different costumes. We got regular Rena in like the sweater thing. We got Rena in the crop top. Rena in the Playboy bunny outfit. We should get them for our cabaret club. They, they seem to be down for all the different outfits and stuff. In the Santa costume, the two piece, and in the other two piece, it's like a like a animal camouflage. It's like Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater over here, like trying to blend in with with the the wildlife. All right, guys, let's do it. Three thousand yen for regular clothes. Oh, I get it. So we're paying. See, she's she is not. I thought that we walked into this photo studio and this was a person like that Rena was trying to get professional photos taken and they just hired a guy off the street to take those photos. But what it is, is that she works at this place and Kiryu pays to take photos of her. That makes sense as a business model. I understand, I don't know that I, necessarily that it is a place that like I've ever heard of before. I don't think that's like re realistic, but I understand the business model. Actually, it's a pretty good idea, I guess. Ben Frost, getting that konnichiwa. Welcome in, Ben Frost, to the stream. Can we get an exclamation mark konnichiwa or an exclamation mark hi for Ben Frost joining the show? We are playing Yakuza Kiwami 2, which you should be able to tell based on the screen right here. Not because you've ever seen this minigame, because it's the first time we've ever seen it, but just because if it's something like this, you know it's going to be Yakuza Kiwami 2. <laughs> you just know it. All right, here we go. Let's meet Rina, ladies and gents. Send some hearts for Rina Hashimoto. All right, you got this, Kiryu. Uh, I'm new to this, but I'm looking forward to today's shoot. Good stuff, that was pretty good, that was pretty good. He said Warukunai, which is like, not bad. I love how they have the camera HUD. <laughs> Um, as many as I want. Uh, that's a damn good deal. We got some hearts from Ben Frost from Nurstash. Thank you guys. Um, any pose you make will be amazing. Nice. Kiryu's like standing in the same spot, yet the camera is moving all over the place. I'm calling BS on this one. Is this a real business model? Like, is this a real thing? If this is the start, how easy would... No, I can't wait for the end. That's lewd, Kiryu. Oh, her heart meter is way filled up right now. Um, when you say more, what exactly do you mean? That was an easy sentence to make. Okyakusan means customer. And then she said jōzune, which means uh, you're skilled, aren't you? I understood that whole sentence that she said there. That was good. We're getting there. Um, whoa, that pose is so damn sexy. We got it. <laughs> what I was saying, I don't know, but it's awkward. <laughs> what? Um, try something even sexier. For me, no, no, seduce me, no, I messed it up. Uh, oh no, we messed it up right at the end. Oh, I messed it up right at the end. Use. That really feels bad, actually. So we got a clear, but we didn't get like a perfect. I don't know if that there's like a difference. Now we can do this costume. Well. It's just another mini game that we're gonna have to master in Yakuza Kiwami 2. Guys, like, how do they do it? How do they do it, honestly? How do they come up with so many mini games? And they're like, so it's like GTA 4 and 5, where like you go into the cabaret club and you watch like a 
30-minute set of Cat Williams. It's like, where, where do you get the money, Yakuza Kiwami 2? Where do you find the time to program all these mini-games? Fascinant Japan. Jarden. I don't know why I thought that said Japan. Gurabia. Gravier. Is that, isn't that a Japanese thing? Gravier. Gravia Stadio Stadio For some reason that's how they spell studio Stadio I don't know what the kanji says though Finger Day Cliff Again Your guess is as good as mine Village Small person Hair I don't know We'll just put all those words together and hope something comes out. Hey, look at that. We got a locker key for that. <laughs> and there's Ash saying, what if the kanji for it was literal nonsense? I guess for those ones, I wouldn't even know whether or not they were. Whoa, we can go in here? Why do they let you go in the... Look, this is what I'm talking about, where it's like, Yakuza, do you just have unlimited development time? Like... Games are crunching, like people are working late hours and stuff. Like, you're sitting here spending the time to perfectly model out this full office building, and you can walk in all the areas and look at the chair and break the chairs on the thing and look at the computers. Why am I allowed to walk in this office? Why? It's like I'm mad at them for being for making a game that is so expansive. You know, why I'm mad because there are people sat there sleeping under a desk so that they could make this like office building area. <laughs> Somebody spent a night under their desk so that that office could get made. I do very much appreciate it though, Yakuza. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. Hey, Lee and Cheng, welcome to the Meatball Marauders. Can we get some hype in that chat for Lee and Cheng joining the fold? Welcome on in. And uh, can we get some hearts as well? Because why not? Don't forget to wave your computer screens, ladies and gents, for Lian Cheng joining the Meatball Marauders. Take these 20 meatballs that you get for following, use it to buy yourself your very own empty office building. And uh, you could start your business in there, you could sleep in there, you could make your the next great Yakuza game in there. Who knows what you'll do in that empty office building. The possibilities are endless. Enjoy your empty office building and enjoy your stay in the Meatball Marauders. You can type exclamation mark meatballs in the chat if you want to check your channel currency of meatballs, as well as your channel ranking, which is based on how many meatballs you have. You can also type exclamation mark games if you want to see the full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going right now, including Yakuza Kiwami 2. Welcome in. And uh, hey, Loyal Wolfie getting that wave. Thank you so much for supporting the wave. The wave is a very uh, important aspect of the welcoming committee because we have to, uh, you know, transfer that wave energy, you know? Oh wait, we still have a red bun that we didn't eat. I think it's in other. Or no, it's in other, yeah. It's not in food. Oh, maybe it is in food. Oh yeah, red bun. And this gives you 200 attack. Oh, that, he said it again. Ajita, which means past tense of something. I don't know. I guess we could look it up. Uh, we want to do this. Japanese to English. Non to? Maybe that? Like reality? Mm, I'm not sure what it's going to be, though. Let's just see what that says. Southeastern Hot Spring. That's not what I meant. Nanto you ashita. How hot it tasted. That's probably something similar to what he meant. Oh, nanto. Like to as a particle. Interesting. I don't know why he would say that. Maybe it was spicy? Maybe it was just like hot, like fresh. Oh my god, I love how cute, wait, watch him walk past this place. Watch him walk past this uh, photo studio, ready? Oh, he didn't do it. Last time he was like, his head was craning backwards, like, I want to go back, player, bring me back to the studio. Oh, there it is, Fascinant Jardin. Oh yeah, look, it says, Gravure Photo Studio. That's what I thought it said, because the, the katakana said, 
Here we go. It's right there. Gurabia. Gurabia. Which I guess is the ka katakana version of gravure. You'll notice that a lot of uh, Japanese katakana words sound very similar to their English counterparts. I mean, obviously, gravure, I believe, is a Japanese word that was translated into English, but it works in both directions. Like, you as an English speaker will know a lot of Japanese words just because you already know English. Oh, look, they count that as a mini game now. Damn, we're going to spend so much time in that place. There's so many costumes that we have to take photos of. Ladies and gents, that's going to do it for Yakuza Kiwami 2. What an episode. We discovered so many things today. We discovered a, um, a concerning amount of things and also many concerning things um, in Yakuza Kiwami 2. And that's going to have to do it for today's show. We're going to raid at the end of this, so stay tuned for that, guys. And let's get a raid message going so that we can get ready for that thing. What you want to do is copy down the raid message that says, Meatball Marauders are here to party. Or if you're on a device, sometimes uh, certain devices will let you copy-paste. So if you can't copy-paste, you can also just write in uh, with your keyboard, Glorious Meatball Raid. And uh, you can write that right into the chat that we end up joining so that everybody is able to join in with that raid, guys. It's always highly appreciated when you uh, post the message into the next channel. Now, um, anybody who doesn't know the channel you're watching right now, it is called The Voice of Nick. I play video games live three times a day and seven days a week. It's all story-focused games on here, and I don't talk over the story or cutscene moments, but they are what we call ultra-blind playthroughs. So I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of the game or suggest what to do in the game, whether or not they've played it before. If you want to see more of what's happening on the channel, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. You will get a full list of all seven concurrent gameplay series going now, including Yakuza Kiwami 2. And if you like what you saw today, don't forget to hit that follow button. Up top, you see a follower goal of 10, and we're currently at 4, I want to say. We just reset that. We got so many followers today. Thank you so much to everybody who uh, came through with the raids. Thank you so much to everybody who followed. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again soon. We had Bob the Canadian guy starting it out with a big raid. We had Colonel Frosty coming in with the raid. We had Red Dagger coming in with the raid. Thank you so much, guys, for, for all the love and support. It is very highly appreciated. And um, let's, uh, let's keep it going. So the 30th entry of the Twitch playbook is out right now. That one's called Surviving Your First 10 Streams. And uh, anybody who doesn't know the Twitch playbook, that's a free podcast that I created to help all of you guys in this community either create your own Twitch channels from scratch or improve on an existing channel if you already have one. You can find it on iTunes, on Spotify, on all the major podcast platforms by searching for the Twitch playbook, or you can type exclamation mark playbook into the chat. You'll get a link directly to it. Now, if you like the channel, you want to support the stuff that I do, then consider subscribing. Subscribers get a whole bunch of stuff on here, including the voice of Nick Emote, legendary status in the chat and Discord, 200 meatballs, higher chance to win in the heist minigames, and ad-free streams. Another great way to support the stream is to cheer or donate. Cheers and donators both get custom Voice of Nick voices as their shoutouts. On the donation leaderboards this week, we have nobody. On the cheer leaderboards this week, we have in third place, nobody. In second place, Meat Computer with 100 cheer. That is a purple level cheer. Thank you to Meat Computer. First place is Space Dust with 300 cheer. That is a purple level cheer as well. Thank you to Space Dust. Thank you to everybody who supports these streams. It is highly appreciated. You are directly helping these shows to get better. Every single day, I improve at least one thing about this family of channels here, whether it is tweaking the streams you see in front of you, whether it's creating and posting content that goes on the social channels, whether it's adding and updating things on the wiki or Discord, whether it's writing, recording, posting all the Twitch playbook entries, all that stuff, guys, is in large part thanks to all of you for supporting these streams by cheering, donating, subscribing, gifting subs, or gifting games. Thank you so much to everybody who does it. It is very highly appreciated. Oh, I should mention as well, uh, the YouTube channel. Uh, we, are, we are a go on our first ever YouTube exclusive gameplay series. So Danganronpa, the Japanese uh, visual novel series, I'm playing through right now on the YouTube channel. That's exclusive to there. So you can see episodes premiering every other day. Today, uh, the 30th of July, happens to be uh, the day that the next episode comes out. So in a mere six hours, uh, the next Danganronpa episode is gonna, gonna premiere on YouTube. So make sure you're there for that, guys. If you wanna join along for that, there are more bite-sized episodes, more YouTube friendly, I would say. And uh, that game is a heck of a time. I have already recorded a bunch of those in preparation, so I can say with certainty, there's a lot of good stuff coming up. Uh, keep your eyes out for that, guys, and make sure you're subscribed on the YouTube to uh, get notifications about it as well. Now, um, let's jump into a raid, guys. Let's see who we can find at this late and or early hour of 5.12 a.m. LA time. Oh, man, my night is very strangely configured. Hey, let's say hello to Bluest, a very good friend of ours, or friends, I should say. Bluest is a, a couples streamer. It is um, uh, a boyfriend-girlfriend squad 
who uh, does uh, a whole bunch of video games. They're just amazing people in general. They also happen to live in Tokyo, and they do a lot of IRL streams walking around Japan. So uh, definitely uh, you will end up seeing a lot of streams where you may even recognize architecture from Yakusakiwami too. So uh, keep your eyes out for that. Now, guys, let's all join in Bluest Stream. They are just amazing people. And uh, make sure you show that love by posting that raid message in there. Either you can post the Meatball Marauders are here to party one, or you can write in the alternate raid message, Glorious Meatball Raid. Especially if, you, uh, if your device doesn't let you copy paste, you can just write in Glorious Meatball Raid. You'll be a part of that raid as well. So make sure you guys get ready with that. And I will see you all later. We have three uh, video game streams coming up tomorrow. Hold on a second. We have three video game streams coming up tomorrow, as always, and one secret stream if you can find it. But until then, guys, bye-bye, and thanks for watching.